Capricorn, welcome to your sexual magic deep dive reading for the month of September. We're going to dive in. We're going to see who's coming towards you, how they feel about you, their sexual desires towards you. Now, this could be anybody. This could be someone you're in separation with, your significant other, um, a crush, or this could be someone brand new. So take it how it resonates. I'm going to describe the person and their sexual characteristics as well as personality. Um, and then again, we're going to see how they feel about you and sexual desires towards you in the month of September. Capricorn, if you're new here, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, talk to me, I talk back. If you're interested in a personal reading, all of that information is down below in the description box. Also check out my Instagram page where you can find previous reviews from pre previous clients, okay? So let's dive in Capricorn. Take a deep breath. Think about the person most heavily on your mind. And we're going to find out who's coming towards you. Spirit, please show me clearly who is coming towards Capricorn in the month of September. Ooh, a lot of energy coming out real quick for you guys here. Bottom of the deck, we've got the Nine of Pentacles. So it could be an earth sign, particularly a Virgo that is coming towards you. Not necessarily so. Take it how it resonates. Um, but this person is on their shit, okay? This is somebody who is self-sufficient. This is somebody who... Um, is probably pretty successful in their career. This is the type of person who can take care of themselves, who can show out. They look good. They smell good. Um, they're very abundant within themselves. And this is usually the type of person who's looking for someone to share that abundance with, okay? Um, with Virgo characteristics, they could be quite grounded, down to earth, very mature individual, okay? <clears throat> so we have also have here... We've got the Chariot, we've got the Three of Wands, we've got the Three of Pentacles, and we've got the Four of Wands. So, heavy Aries energy, we have um, Cancer, and we have Capricorn energy as well, okay? So, I really feel like whoever this person is, um, they're a quite determined individual. They're very stable. I think they're very well in their money here. Um... This person seems to be looking for someone to have stability with. They're looking for someone to collaborate with, happy home. This could be somebody that you work with, not necessarily so. Um, but this person is definitely a people person. They're very social. Um, I feel like they definitely have a lot of friends, a lot of people surrounding them, a lot of family. Okay, They are very family oriented. Um, this person just seems to really have their head on their shoulders about what they want to do, where they want to go. With the chariot here, they could have a very, very intense energy. Um, I feel like this person's very serious, okay? Um, sexually, I'm picking up someone who is um, a bit of a voyeur. They like to watch, okay, is what I'm seeing here with this chariot card. Um, so they could be into pornography. They could be just, in, it doesn't even have to go that deep. It could be someone who's just simply interested in watching you, maybe watching you undress, maybe they like watching you play with yourself, maybe they like um, watching your reaction um, when they do certain things to you in the bedroom. It could be any way, really, okay? <clears throat> this person does have a lot of passion here. We do have two cards of Aries, uh, four of wands and three of wands. So I feel like this person has a very fiery, hot energy in regards to whoever it is that they pursue here, okay? You could find in the bedroom that they are, are very um, open to new ideas, new positions, um, just new adventures in the bedroom overall. Um, this person is very, very fun. It's like a very fun energy that I'm getting here. This person is serious. Um, but they are very down to earth, very laid back, okay? I, I'm picking up a sensual vibe. This person is very lusty, but very sensual as well. I feel like they have the ability to read the other person that they are working with. They're very in tune um, with their intuition and their emotions, I, I feel as well. Um, but I feel like this one, I feel like this person is the type of person that would pursue you. I don't see this person being shy or, you know, a wallflower by any means. I feel like whatever that they, they see or whoever they see, they go for it. They don't really play any games here, okay? 
Um, I'm seeing someone who is possibly creative. So working in the creative field, that could be anything, digital creation, it could be painting, it could be um, maybe they're a dancer, maybe they're um, a content creator on YouTube. It really could be anything. Um, I am picking up underneath this nine of pentacles is the king of pentacles. So like I am picking up someone who is um, who's looking for a commitment. They're not like I'm not getting a playboy energy or a playgirl energy. Um, I'm definitely getting someone who's serious and looking for commitment here. Um, but yeah, I, I'm getting someone who might be an entrepreneur as well. Take that how it resonates. Okay. Um, I'm picking up an emphasis on um, foreplay as well. I feel like this person's really into foreplay, a bit of a voyeur energy, like I said, watching. Um, very cooperative in the bedroom, though. I feel like this person will really do whatever it is that you want to do, okay? So that's a little, just a, a little idea of who this person might be, okay? Um... I'm picking up dark hair, dark eyes, red hair, light eyes. I feel like this person's very fun too and adventurous. I mean, they have a very serious side. I feel like that's more directed towards their career, but yeah. Okay, so let's dive in here. Let's see how this person is feeling towards you in the month of September, what actions they might take. And then we're going to dive into their sexual energy towards you, okay? Spirit, please show me how are they feeling about Capricorn. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Cups here, okay? This person could be waiting to make a move. They might have already even spotted you here. So we've got the page of wands, we've got the judgment, we've got the um, magician, we've got the two swords, and we have the chariot, okay? So this person, this person, sorry, I had to take a sip of my coffee. <clears throat> this person, Capricorn, man, I feel like, to this person, you fell out of the high heavens here. I <laughs> like honest to God, I feel like because we have the magician. So this person's definitely seeing you as the whole package. They feel like you have it all. They feel like you check off all the boxes physically. Um, it, it depends on whether or not you know this person. If this someone, this is someone new, they're looking at your physicality, the way you move, the way you interact with people as um, an ideal mate. Okay. Um, if this is someone that you already know, this person has come to a realization about you, okay? If this is someone that you already know. I feel like this person, um, they really can't take their eyes off you, okay? I feel like they've been watching you, kind of waiting for the appropriate time to approach for a lot of you. Underneath that emperor, we have the lovers. So underneath the four of cups, we've got the emperor, and then we have the lovers. And then underneath that lovers, we have the ten of pentacles. So yeah, I definitely feeling like <clears throat> I'm definitely feeling like this is someone who's making a choice to come towards you, someone who just sees you as desirable, someone who sees you as their empress here, seeing you as the whole package. Like I said, if you're new, if this person's new, then you pretty much fell out of the sky, okay? If this is someone who's returning, someone who's in separation, I feel like they've been waiting for the appropriate time to move towards you and manifest a new beginning. Okay, um, they are looking at you. I, it's like I'm almost picking up this energy where this person has been hit by Cupid's arrow with the judgment card being an awakening energy, also a reunion energy. If you're in separation, um, this person is really trying to come together with you. Okay, is what I'm seeing here with the page of the page of wands. Pages are about communication. Um, this person has some passionate communication that they want to. Um, that they want to express to you here is what I'm seeing, okay? Um, we also have the chariot energy. I feel like this person is moving towards you. We also have the two of swords. So this person may need, need, need to make the decision. I feel like an energy from this person where they feel like, I don't really know how to approach this person. I feel like this person may be a little bit nervous, trying to make a decision to move towards you, not really sure how to proceed, okay? Now, they could also feel like you're being a little bit guarded here, okay? Um, 
but they do find you very attractive okay they do find you very driven they find you confident as well um but they definitely they definitely can see potential with you here they definitely want to move towards you okay um in regards to sexual energy yeah so they're definitely interested in, in you here the chariot is an obvious sign of sex all right the magician is as well um, when this person met you, if this is someone that you already know, they definitely felt um, an electric spark towards you, okay? I'm hearing love at first sight with the judgment as well, okay? Um, this person's really attracted to the physical. Sorry, I'm not ready. Okay, so I'm going to... I'm going to dive in here. I'm going to get the section... I'm going to dive deeper into the sexual energy, Guys, if you're liking this reading, don't forget to smash that like button, okay? Help my videos circulate. I really, really appreciate it. Spirit, please show me the sexual energy that this person has towards Capricorn. Okay, so we've got the star again. So yeah, I definitely feel like whenever you met this person, whether this is new, old, returning, this person still like, like again, love at first sight. This person's in awe by of you, okay? This person is really in awe of you, really in awe of your beauty, really in awe of your body. Um, like this person's attraction for you, especially if this is someone who has been lingering around or a crush, like it hasn't dwindled at all. Their energy, their sexual desire for you, their lust for you has not dwindled. This person is still starstruck by you. Um, they really feel like you are a gem, all right, is what I'm picking up here. Then we've got the Page of Cups, okay? So there's an energy of jealousy here. So I don't know if you're entertaining someone else, Capricorn, um, but this person feels jealous of the fucking sun, okay? They don't want anyone... They don't want you giving your attention to anyone. I'm picking up this energy where they want you to themselves, okay? The idea of you being with someone else really... Um, it really bothers them, okay? Um, this is not the type of person that would want to share. This is not the type of person that is interested in threesomes or open relationships. I feel like this person is monogamous, whether it's just a sexual encounter or you guys are in an actual relationship. Like, this person does not want to share you here, especially with it sitting beside that star card. I'm really feeling like this person only sees you and they want you to only see them, okay? <clears throat> Um, in terms of, like, I also, like, I feel like this person is in, infatuated with you here as well with the Page of Cups, like, and the star, like, this person's very, very, very infatuated with you, okay? I feel like this person dreams and fantasizes quite a bit, um, about having an encounter with you here, okay? Um, I feel this energy of an individual who would really do anything you wanted them to do to please you here, okay? I feel like this person... I mean, there's an energy of invitation, like inviting, inviting you to come over, inviting you to their house. Um, like this person wants to see you. This person wants to spend intimate time with you. Okay. Um, I feel like you've been keeping this person waiting in some aspect or when this person does come in, I feel like you may keep them waiting. I feel like you're going to play a little hard to get if this is someone new. Even if this is someone returning, I, I'm picking up this energy where you're going to play a little hard to get here, okay? This person is fantasizing about undressing you here, okay? Underneath that energy is we have the Knight of Cups and then we have the Magician. And then we have the Four of Wands, yeah. So I'm really feeling like this person wants to come to you with an offer here okay it doesn't necessarily have to be an offer of love but like an offer of intimacy as well an offer of sex is what i'm getting here okay i'm picking up an energy where this person they have a lot of lust they really want to desire they really want to please you here they have a desire to please you here is what i'm seeing i'm just picking up an individual who's really in awe of you okay I, i'm picking up an energy of someone who is going to be submissive to you in the bedroom um and literally do whatever it is that you want them to do it's an energy of i want to please you <laughs> okay um like i said definitely a heavy emphasis on foreplay here Okay, so if you're into that, this person is going to give you what you need. 
I'm picking up like hot massage oil as well. Like if you look at this star card, she's pouring some type of liquid on this man's chest. <laughs> like I'm really feeling like, um, I'm picking up like just essential energy of like massage oils. Okay. Um, like this person just really wants their hands on you. They really want to please you. Okay. Kissing your neck. It's a really nice energy, like it's a soft energy. It's not aggressive. It's not, um, it doesn't feel like hot and like, okay, so if I were to describe it, I would describe it as the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is um, an energy, like it's like Cupid's arrow, it goes up in the air, but it comes back just back down just as quick. I'm not getting that energy. Like I'm getting like a slow burn sensual energy of someone who wants to keep you for themselves okay so I'm gonna pull you a moonology and then I'm gonna wrap this up if you're interested in diving a little bit deeper or getting your own personal reading of who is coming towards you and how that person feels about you look at this a fiery climax approaches full moon in Aries so like yeah like I really feel like someone is coming towards you <laughs> I again it's an energy of like we aim to please here like I really feel like this person is coming in to show you how they feel about you coming in to show you what they can do for you like this person really wants to make again they want to make you climax here I feel like the energy surrounds you. It's not it's not a selfish energy. This person isn't isn't coming in for themselves. They're coming in for you. They're in all of you. Is what I'm seeing here, Capricorn. Okay. All right. So I hope you liked this reading. Please like again, smash that like button. Okay. Comment and anything you could ever need is in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'm wishing you all the best in your romantic future. Love and light.